guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, if you can't tell by the title, we are going to be doing an install video of my new dream seats, the Recaro pull positions. I ended up getting these from 425 Motorsports and I went with the black leather and Alcantara uh, option for these. So Jesse today is going to be helping me out getting these in the, in the car. I already got one in the car because we went up there pr prior to everything, it, COVID being everything. Uh, got the seat, put it in because I was just too trigger happy and I was excited. This one ended up showing up a little bit later due to COVID now. So we just got it in, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. So let's get to it. All right, let's pull these bad boys out. Like I said, these are my dream seats and I've wanted them for a long time. Hello, Bailey. You wanna say hi to the people? Yeah. Hi. So let's go ahead and get him in the car. All right, so we went ahead and got everything out as you just saw. Uh, seat set up, brackets are out. We got the planted seat bracket right here. I'll show you real quick. So. I'm not gonna be doing um, sliders for the seats. They're just gonna be hard mounted into the car and that's what that bracket's for. So 425 actually makes the planted brackets if you guys didn't know, which is very handy. Um, other than that, we do know that coming into, oh, there goes a the GoPro. Um, these guys, so Recaro does send you these with the seats, but they have this lip, as you can see, so we have to cut it off. So Jesse's gonna help me with that, or he has, he's gonna just do it, because he's good at it. So then we can hard mount them to the planted bracket, because if we don't have that, it just doesn't work. Seems safe. So, so we're gonna cut, yeah. Cut right along there, cut that little thing off right there. And we say bye bye. Just an FYI, don't try any of this at home. We're making it work. Saucy. That's it. That's like straight, straight. Now we're just gonna file it down, make it look nice. We'll tape it up real quick and just throw some black paint so it looks nice and new. So, you know the process. God, that looks just about like it should. It's a lot better in your car. Wow, wow, <laughs> okay, what about this thing? <laughs> wow, I you gonna go there? <laughs> I mean, we haven't even shown this. Look at, wow. Yeah. Okay, so now that we're gonna let that dry after we just cut everything, uh, painted it, you know, we gotta let it, let these brackets kinda sit here for a sec. But we actually got some, some angled steel. So we're gonna make an L bracket on the side that comes up, there's a screw, I'm gonna actually show you. So Jesse's measuring it right now. Two and a quarter inches. That'll give us a bit of girth to bite off of. Sweet. Safety first. So we're gonna go into that screw hole right there. Bolt. Bolt hole. So we're gonna go into there, we're gonna take some of this angled steel here. Uh, basically make a slight L bracket, cut it in half, not in half, more than in half, but you know. Two and a quarter. Two and a quarter, make it an L bracket, so then the part of my harness can go back down there. We'll drill a hole through each side, one to go down into the car, one for the uh, harness to go through, so it can be attached safely, we'll be good to go. So what we're doing now, we're gonna cut this L bracket for the harness bracket, and then I will show you how, to, how we'll mock it up real quick and show you how it's gonna look. <laughs> Quick 
little file job and should be good to go. Drill some holes in it for the bolt. Sand it up, paint it. So now we got the brackets all cut, as you saw, and then we went ahead and drilled some holes through them to go put one side for the harness and then the other side going into the floor of the car. So we're getting it all hung up right now and then we're gonna shoot it with some black paint so it looks nice. Good first coat. Our next step is going to be grabbing the side mounts that we painted and cut a little earlier. As you can see, they're all dry now. These are the things that go on the side of the side of the seats to basically bolt down into the planted bracket going to the car. So those will go on the side of that. We're gonna let paint those some more, let them dry, do this, and then it should be almost close to going in the car. So that's where we're at. You know, the bracket has a lot of pre-drilled holes, but they can't pre-drill holes for everybody for how whatever size they are. And uh, so here we are just drilling holes to make it fit what Casey wants. Yep, that's basically it. It would work for most applications and this would work if you had the sliders. I'm pretty sure it'll all bolt up to any of these that they have because these are E46 specific. Yeah, we're just putting holes in it real quick to make sure it's all good and how I want it positioned in the car. So that's how it's gonna be. Yeah. Huh? It's because we custom round, yeah? Yeah, like we're custom. We're doing custom things. Basically, we already know how everything's gonna go together and how it's gonna sit in the car because I've already mounted the whole planted bracket up in the car and everything's fine. So we're gonna take it, obviously we attach just the chassis to that side. We're gonna put it onto the seat, attach the other side, get it going. So it took a little bit of finessing, but we got everything together as you can see. We got the seats in the car. There they are. You can see them looking really good. Uh, Justin and I are probably going to go for a test drive real quick, see how they feel. And then later, uh, we'll get the harnesses all buttoned up, make sure they're good, make sure the seat's in the right position that we're wanting it to be in for passengers. Personally, not my problem. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, looks sick. I'm happy with it. Finally got the matching seats. Let's take a look. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you liked the video. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'll put a link down below to everything. Um, and again, shout out to 425 Motorsports for helping me with these seats. And especially my, my buddy Jesse. He always helps me a lot with this car. Uh, we still got a bunch more to do. But I'm excited to start bringing you more content with this thing. Because it's my baby. So I hope you guys enjoy it. See you on the next round.